that's interesting. The parish church of St. Peter in Chailey. Sometimes I think that I've, my van is a bit like the TARDIS. It's just sort of turns up in places <laughs> and I don't always know where I am, but I do, at least I think I do. So I'm in Chailey. Uh, which is this t weird little village. I mean, it's a lovely village with some beautiful old houses, and but there's a North Chaley and a South Chaley, and they seem to be about a mile or so apart, the North and South, and then bang in the middle is Chaley itself. So, I want to get to the bottom of that, really. Um, this is the St. Peter's Church. I'm going to have a quick look at that. It's a Sunday as I record this, so I'm expecting parishioners to turn up any minute. Um, so I don't want to be in the way of those. Um, interesting with the cross keys up there. I don't know what that means. And then there's a boat full of fish, but we're quite some distance from the coast here. You've got Lewis seven miles that way, and you've got Haywards Heath, I don't know how many miles, so probably another seven miles north-west. And so it's nowhere near fishing, but maybe fishermen came from here. Who knows? The road here is getting a bit busier now for a Sunday morning. Anyway, here we are at Chailey. I've just met a very lovely chap called Peter, who lives around here, lives on a farm near here, and he's grown up here all his life. And he was just telling me some information about Chailey, which I thought was brilliant. So um, there's a building there that's the old rectory, which is now empty, he says, but it used to be a school. And up this way, behind me, is um, what used to have the butcher, and presumably other little smaller shops. This was the hub. This is Chaley Green, the area that I'm on here, the hub of the village. And then you've got these two other bits, as I said before. And he said this is the longest parish, I think he said, the longest parish in Sussex, or East Sussex, not sure which, but um, fascinating. Uh, there's a telephone box let's see if there's an actually um, a telephone in the telephone box or a defibrillator or a library or whatever there is let's have a look doesn't look like it's been in use very long Oh, it does actually open. It's a bit of broken glass on the floor in here, but... Let's see if we can actually make a call. There's a dialing tone in everything. Well... I'm impressed with that. <laughs> there can't be many phone boxes in the country that still have a tone and can still dial a call. It didn't have any money on me. However, it makes you wonder if the reason is because the signal around here is so poor. Because I think that's what they often do, is ensure the phone boxes work if the signal is poor. What are we going to do now? We're going to have a look at the area. <laughs>
St Peter's is a very lovely church, I have to confess. It's very interesting, very pointy um, spire on it, which looks like it's got, I don't know whether that's uh, oak shingles on there or um, what is the other one that they use? I can't remember the other wood that they often use on, on um, churches. Beautiful stone church. It's 13th century, I believe. I, I think, if I've got this right, there's an entry somewhere uh, that it gives it 1256. I may be wrong. Somebody, I'm sure, will know. Um, but 13th century, no doubt. <laughs> like so many churches, there was something here before then. Um, beautiful. The way the roof just comes right, right down with that Horsham slate is very beautiful. I'm very impressed with that. And the graveyard here is quite huge. It's, it's, it just goes on and on and on. Um, and I suppose because it's that long parish that uh, Peter was mentioning before, I suppose everybody who was anybody was buried here. This is an Irish yew. There's a few of them in here. Irish yews are the ones that are more contained and they go upwards like this lovely lovely one there's a beautiful old english yew right up there by the west entrance in fact by the lich gate as you come in beautiful uh, yew and it looks quite old i'll have to have a look at that in a moment but these are there's a few of these dotted about which was um a tradition i, I guess these are specifically planted I think the sun is eluding us today, <laughs> unfortunately. I was hoping, they said the bank holiday was going to be full of sunshine, but it doesn't seem to be. Anyway, never mind all that. Um, it's, it's quite a lumpy um, graveyard here. It's quite bumpity and lumpity. There's even ferns growing here, and I noticed that the soil was quite sandy. I, I don't know whether we're on... Um, part of the green sand way or any of that but um, what else was I going to say um, I wonder how many people managed to get down here because of the lumpiness of it there's no sort of uh, paths as such uh, you wonder how many people get visited the graves are relatively old there's a lovely horse chestnut uh, in front of me and of course the hawthorn is out in in its May blossom which is lovely to see and um, it's a bit of a view, but not much from here. And apart from the road, very tranquil. I am an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. I found the path. This is the path, clearly. I went down the way that I wasn't supposed to go. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, so people obviously do go down and visit graves. And in fact, there's some newer graves down there. Um, but it's, it, I, I've, I love graveyards and this is just a very fascinating one with all sorts of different motifs on the, on the stones. Oh. That's better, isn't it? Have a sit down. <laughs> Now here's an interesting thing, and I don't know how true this is, and maybe you know this, or maybe you've got your own theories on it, but this is Chaley, Chaley in East Sussex. Do you remember the kids TV series in 1969 called Chigley? And before that, Trumpton and Camberwick Green, I read, it was on Wikipedia, but then I also went on to a Trumptonshire website, which was a website devoted to Gordon um, Murphy's puppets. Is it Murray? Gordon Murray's puppets, who did the Trumpton series um, all those years ago. And he never revealed exactly where his mythological puppet programs were based but he said it was in a triangle each were equidistant Chigley, um, Trumpton and Camberwick Green. There is a theory, there is a theory that Chaley is Chigley and that Trumpton is Plumpton which is 
not too far away. And that Camberwick Green is Wivelsfield. Wivelsfield, again, there would be a triangle, but Wivelsfield, Camberwick. But anyway, you may know more than I do, but it's an interesting theory, isn't it? Because also, you may have noticed that on the sign at Chaley is a windmill. And there was definitely a windmill in, oh, was it Chigley or Trumpton or Camberwick Green? Windy Miller. Can't remember which one he was at. Still cold, I can tell you. So about that windmill. Yes, the windmill is in North Chaley and I'll have to go there on a separate video, I think, and have a look at that. It looks intriguing and apparently it's open to the public and I think, I'm not sure, it's either a smock or a post. Um, it could be a tower mill. <laughs> Having said that, they're the three types of mills. I need to look that up. But as I arrived in South, through South Chaley, I saw Mill Lane. And I thought, hello, that's interesting. There must have been another windmill down here then. And when I spoke to Peter at the beginning of my video, just as I was filming, he stopped and said, hey, I recognize you. And we had got chatting. I said, there's um, a little lane there. And he said, yeah that if you go down that, it's on private land, but if you go down that, you'll see the remains of a windmill down there. I thought, oh, I'll have to come back. I'll have to do a windmill heritage trail and see if I can access it. So if you happen to be the owner of the land with the windmill on, could I have permission, please, to go and have a look at the, uh, the remains? That would be fascinating. And I could do a little video about it and then I'll head up to the existing one that's still there, find out the dates and all of that kind of stuff, which would be great. I'm sure people would love to see it. Let's see if we can go inside. I'm going to poke my nose, see if I can go inside the church. I want to have a look at the yew tree. And uh, I know that it's a Sunday and there is a service, but I think the service is elsewhere today. So let's have a look. Wow, I hadn't spotted this, hadn't spotted this when I came in and had a look. This one is even older than the one at the U, uh, at the, at the uh, Lichgate, this U. I mean, look at it, there's a seat all the way round and it's, this is ancient. This is obviously much earlier, probably earlier than the church, no doubt. People often say, why are the yew trees in here? And I think it has something to do with the original probably the Saxon meeting places or pagan meeting places, probably even maybe goes back as far as the Neolithic, the Bronze Age, who, kn who knows, who knows? I don't suppose anybody really knows, but this is a very big, wide girthed tree. It's absolutely enormous. I'd love to know how old this is. Oh, I tell you what, it's getting a bit chilly now. I don't know what's happened to the sun. It was promised, never mind. Beautiful old church, love it. Uh, fascinating place. Uh, obviously going to come back and explore more. Uh, check out the, the local walks, actually. There's probably some fat, fascinating ones here. That tree's topped the other one. Um, what a beautiful old tree that is and a, a lovely church and a lovely village. So uh, yeah, well done Chaley. Think it looks amazing. It's even got its own li lovely little private gate here. And it opens. Fantastic. Well, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe, become a patron, support what I do, and I'll go out and explore more of these wonderful places. Until next time, thanks for watching.